Really? You guys make money in this town doing this? I don't know, that's a great question. You can't miss them. Their signs grab your attention. I'm just trying to get some of my rip money. Their stories may tug at our hearts. I lost my unemployment. I got a deteriorating spine. They show up seemingly out of nowhere and just as fast, they disappear. But when you hand over that heartfelt or guilt-felt donation, do you know where it's going? I mean, it wasn't always this way. At the end of November, 15 Finds Out began investigating Fort Wayne panhandlers. Like check one, two, one, two. With an undercover camera nearby, we talked with three different panhandlers at random. I'm Adam. Hey, I'm Adam. Hey, I'm Adam, by the way. Then we waited and waited to see where they went. We met Derek outside the Kroger Marketplace on DuPont. I lost my job, and I'm trying to keep a roof over my head. That boom. I got a little black Pomeranian I ain't trying to know. And then I got my son I get on weekends, so I got to have some place for him to come to. We saw Derek take a smoke break and walk to a nearby gas station. Inside, a store clerk gave us his thoughts about this panhandler. He comes in and buys cigarettes every once in a while, uses the restroom. Um, he's always got a lot of bills in both pockets this big. I work for my money, and I think everybody should. After several hours, we watched Derek hop a bus. He made a brief stop at the mall and eventually ended up walking down Wells Street. Hey, Derek. Where we confronted him. I'm actually Adam Widener with Channel 15. We're doing a story about panhandlers. Are you uh, following me? Might be some people say, why do you stand out there? Why do you stand out there instead of looking for a job? Well, how would you answer that? How would I live if I'm not out there doing that? I mean, I do go out and look for a job. I do look. I can't be out there every day, all day looking for a job. How am I going to How am I going to live? I mean, I want a job. I want a real job, but I do have some felonies and it's hard for me to get a job. Do you use the money that people give you to buy cigarettes? No. Uh, well, I mean, sometimes I don't, it's not all, that's, you know, I mean, about every other day I might buy a pack, but I mean, I'm not out here spending all my money on stupid stuff. I mean, none of it's really a lie. Next up, we met Tim Sharp outside the mire on Lima Road. How's it going? His sign says homeless. He told us he lost his job at a local factory and will be heading to a local motel when he gets enough money to stay there. I lost my unemployment, losing my place to live. I don't know where I'm going. We caught Sharp taking a smoke break every couple of hours. After getting donations in the frigid January weather for about five hours, Sharp hopped a bus. We followed that bus down to Wells Street and confronted him as it appeared he was heading into a vacant building. His story? Well, actually, I'm going to go down, down the street down here and go to this one guy's house. I can't stay there, so I don't know. Yeah. It's not fun. Do you use the money that you get for panhandling for cigarettes? Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Gotta have a cigarette. Sharp says he made about $50 panhandling that day. How long you been out here? Our final panhandler we saw in several locations. First at a shopping center near Coldwater and Washington Center. Giuseppe Battle. After losing him there, oh shoot, we found him another day at a shopping center off Maysville Road. Let's go do this. What was your name? Giuseppe Battle. His sign says he's disabled, and we saw him limping. The reason? About 10 years ago, I fell 63 feet off the Ferris wheel, and it completely messed my back. Yeah. Physically disabled, I can't work. I got a deteriorating spine. And I'm trying to get disability, but they've denied me 10 times so far. Like the others, Giuseppe smokes. But what Giuseppe did next shocked us. He walked and walked and walked with no limp. We watched him walk five miles from Maysville Road to New Haven. After a couple hours there, he hopped a bus. We've been following this panhandler for a good six hours and headed south of downtown. There he is. Hey, Giuseppe. That's where we confronted him. Hey, I'm Adam Widener with Channel 15. How you doing? JP. We saw you buying uh, cigarettes with the money that people gave you. No, How do no, you respond to no, that? No, I don't buy cigarettes with money people give me. Okay, I do little odd jobs, break changes, oil changes, to get money for my habits. And you said you can't lift up to 10 pounds, as yeah. you told us, because you're spine. I'm not supposed to. You're not supposed to, but you have that backpack on your back. Yeah, the backpack's on my shoulders. I'm not actually lifting it. And it doesn't weigh very much. All that's in it right now are a couple of my kids' Christmas presents. And then Giuseppe revealed to us a community of panhandlers. In this summer, it's like 40, 50 new people come out. 
And like I've got certain spots that I've been doing it for a year at. I consider those my spots. There's women out there that do it. They'll say they're pregnant and they're not pregnant. They'll say they're homeless and they're not homeless. There are people that will say they're vets and they're not really vets. And that's all for them to get more money. I know there's a kid that goes to Coldwater Walmart a lot. All he does with the money is buy spice. I actually seen one woman get out of a BMW and try to go sit down at Coldwater. I ran her off. How many people are real, actually need the money, and how many people... Um, I'd say about 5%. Are real? Yeah. I'd say about 5%. So Giuseppe, how are people supposed to tell the difference? They don't have to. They either believe you or not. If you guys think we're scamming, think we're scamming. Me, I could give a shit less. Because I will always survive. Though your donations may be buying cigarettes and there are reports of panhandlers getting into nice vehicles, it's not like any of our three left in a nice car or went to a fancy home. Still, we discovered your money isn't exactly going where you may think it should when giving to who's behind the sign.